Hi everyone, let's solve the third question from today's weekly contest that is count the number of beautiful subarrays. So in this question, we are given an integer array nums and uh, we can perform one operation, right? So we'll discuss what this operation is. Um, now, uh, a subarray is beautiful if it is possible to make all of its elements equal to zero after applying the above operation any number of times, right? So we have to perform this operation any number of times on a subarray from this uh, nums array. And if we can make all of its elements zero, Right? by performing this operation any number of times, we call that subarray is beautiful, right? So we need to return the number of beautiful subarrays in the array nums, right? So let's first understand what this operation is, right? So first what we have to do? First we have to select two indices i and j such that uh, they are in the bounds of array length and we need to, you know, choose a non-negative integer k such that the kth bit in the binary representation of nums of i and nums of j is 1, right? And we need to subtract 2 of k from nums of i and nums of j. So let's see what this means. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to select two indices. So okay, first of all, let's uh, write the binary representation of each and every number because we have to deal with that, right? So for 4, it will be 1, 0, 0. It is 1, 1, 0, 1. It is 1, 0 and it is one zero zero right now what we have to do we have to select a subarray so how do we choose a subarray we choose a start index i and a, a you know ending index j so let's say we select this particular subarray here right now what we have to do we have to check right so what this is so this is like written a little bit you know confusing in a confusing manner but uh, this simply means that you have to check a position where you know uh, you have set bits right uh, that is you have one at a particular position right if it is one uh, in for any two numbers right uh, at a particular position you have to unset it that is make it zero so how do you make it zero you just take two to the power this particular index that is it is zero here right if you select uh, three and one if you see uh, their zeroth index uh, is one in the binary representation. So if you want to, you know, unset it, that is make these bits zero. So you will subtract two raised power zero from these, right? So if you subtract two raised power zero, so you will be getting one zero here. You will be getting one zero here and you will be getting zero zero here. So what you have basically done is unset this particular bit that was set here, right? So that is what uh, this particular, uh, this means, right? Okay, so now let's see what one operation is. So the operation is simple. You have to choose a subarray, right? And in that subarray, you have to choose two indexes, right? And for those two indexes, what you can do is you can, you know, unset one bit, which is, you know, uh, which is which appears at a position, right? Common to both. For example, if you see here, we have one, one, zero, one, and we have one and zero. So this is the zeroth bit and this is the first bit, right? Now, uh, you can see that the zeroth bit for three and one is same. So you have to unset it. So what will you get? You will get one zero and zero zero, right? So how do you unset it? I just told you, just do two raised power that particular index, right? That is K. Let's say th these values are of K. Now they have become this. So you have one zero here. Now. You can like you can see that the first bit of these two numbers, right? You have to select two numbers and you have to check whether at a particular position their bits are, you know, <coughs> similar. Uh, that is, they should be set, not similar. They should be set. If they are set, you have to unset them. So how do you unset them? You will simply say one one is, uh, you know, uh, just you know make them zero. So you will get something like this. Okay. So. Um, so I hope you have got what uh, this operation is, right? You have to select two numbers. You have to select the set bit, right? At a particular position and you have to unset it. So basically here, these were the two bits and here, these were the two bits. So you essentially did two operations, right? To make all these numbers zero. So we discussed that a beautiful subarray is that subarray. If we can make all of its elements zero by applying this operation any number of times, right? So I can say that this particular subarray that we just considered is a beautiful subarray. Why? Because we can perform this, like we perform this operation two number of times, 
and we made all the elements inside of the array of, of this particular sub array zero so that means it is a beautiful sub array so what we have to do we have to so this is the operation that we have to do and we have to consider the sub arrays from this nums array and we have to check whether or not we can uh, you know if that is beautiful or not so how can we do we have to perform this operation right now now there is a very good observation in this question so let's see what that observation is so we just have to you know unset a bit right so we are essentially trying to you know uh, unset the bit and make that particular bit zero so if i say if i say what is ones or one it is zero isn't it right so let's see how zor will you know help us right so what zor does is it just it helps us you know uh, wherever there are two bits that are same the value of zor that we get is zero right so here unsetting the bit basically means that if we do one zor one we can get a zero right so we can unset the bit using zor right so let's see so let's again consider these two numbers so we have 1 1 here and 0 1 here right so if i take zor of these two numbers what will i get i will simply get 0 here and 1 here so i get 1 0 now the next number is 1 0 if i zor these two numbers what will i get i will get 0 0 so you can easily see that uh, you know you can do zor and you can make that particular bit at that position like wherever the bits are set at a particular position right let's say we have some number like this and let's say we have an another number like this right so we have okay wait so we have this this and these two bits these three bits set right so if we saw these three uh, this these two numbers what we will be getting we will be getting this right so you can see that basically unsetting two bits is one operation so we did three operation by zoring these two numbers once so you can you know so you don't have to perform the operation you can just zor these two numbers just to unset those two bits right that you are considering in this case there were three pairs of those bits that uh, we needed to unset right so we would have taken three operation but zor made it easier for us right in one zor you can simply you know uh, do three operations but we can perform the operation any number of times so if we zor the number of perform the operation it is the same thing here so that is what we are going to use so we will be zoring the numbers and i can say that for any sub array if i can get the zor as zero i can say that okay this sub array is beautiful right so that is what we are going to do so let's see how we'll be you know using this here So what we'll be doing is we'll be calculating a prefix zor, right? What we'll be calculating a prefix zor. You can also, you know, consider all the subarrays and calculate their zors. That will also work fine. But to do this approach in uh, O of n time, what we'll do is we'll be uh, using prefix zor because when you will be, you know, trying to first of all you will be iterating inside uh, this array, right? And then what you will do, you will consider the subarray. A particular sub array right and for that sub array you will again iterate and check whether it's sore is zero or not right so that will be a uh, somewhat o of n square time complexity right so if we calculate the prefix sore we can you know uh, decrease this time complexity so let's see how we can do that right so if we calculate the prefix sore so we'll be starting from four then we will be Zoring these two numbers, so we have one zero zero and one one. So what will be the zor of these two numbers? It will be one one one. That is five. Then you will zor five and one. Right? What will you get? This will become zero, and these will remain same, which is uh, one one zero. So this is six, I guess. <coughs> then you will zor six with two. Right? So we'll get one and zero. So these two bits you will unset and you will get 4 here. Now you will zor 4 and 4. Right. So zoring 4 and 4 you will be getting 0. Right. Also let's take um, prefix array will start from 
zero also right so basically prefix sor it will be starting from zero and we will be getting prefix or something like this right now how will this be helpful to us let's see so if you you know if you consider the prefix or right so you know that the or of two numbers which are equal is zero right so if i just do or x or x it will be zero so that is what we are going to use so here you can see for these two numbers and these two numbers the or will be zero right so we can say that okay so at this particular like starting from this to this right the whole sub array which is lying in this particular range because we are starting from zero and we are ending at zero so that means the whole sub array has or zero this particular sub, sub array has or zero similarly for these two four and four we begin with four right the or was four here and up to this point we again got four right so we again got four so that means the or has become like four here so if you just saw all the numbers between this particular range right if you saw all the numbers within this particular range their or will be zero i can say that right so yes that is what we are going to do so now if the frequency is if the frequency is one we will let go of those numbers but when the frequency becomes greater than one we have to add it to our answer right so that is what we are going to do so for uh, storing the frequencies we will be considering a map and we will be checking whether or not that value was previously present in the map or not if it was present then what we will do we will simply you know um, we will take an answer variable and we will increment it that is what we are going to do now let's see the code okay so here you can see so we have taken an ans variable and we have taken this x variable here so x variable is only to calculate uh, the zor right we haven't made any prefix array here this x will you know because we are just calculating the prefix so we can store the prefix in here and uh, we are you know just storing it inside of the map so there is no issue right so we can uh, we don't have to create any separate vector for that so we can you know just use a variable to get the prefix zor values so we'll be starting from zero so uh, i have just you know put zero inside of the map now we are iterating inside of this array nums array and we are calculating our prefix or inside of x then we are checking if the this value um, exists inside of the map or not right as we said um, it should be greater than 1 then we have to consider a, an answer right so here we have incremented it right so whatever uh, frequency we have inside of this particular index of map we have uh, put it inside of the answer and then uh, whatever value we have got we have also put it inside of the map then we have simply returned our answer right so by the end of all the iteration our answer will be containing the number of beautiful sub arrays that we have so that is basically how you have to solve this question so that is how we are you, like here we can see that we are using the prefix or concept and we are just checking right the index is where this or becomes equal right so wherever this becomes equal that means if you consider the sub array between those two indexes that will have a or as zero right so basically and uh, we are just you know we have taken a map and using that map we can simply check the frequencies right so that is how we have to solve this question